Welcome back, boils and ghouls. This is another episode of the Indie Spotlight, and this week we have got a ash can extravaganza. I decided to do this as kind of a combo episode, okay? And then to do two issues in one episode. The reason for that is these are both previews. They are ash cans in the truest sense of like post 90s image, all of that. What a lot of people think of as ash cans. Now, I was in love with ash cans all the way back to like Bob Burden and the Flaming Carrot. You know, I never had money for all of those golden age ash cans and stuff, but those. Bob Burden flaming carrots. I love them. And, and, and the Max ash cans and a lot of that image stuff. I just love it. It's nostalgic for me. It makes me happy. It reminds me of good time in my life. And so when I got a couple of ash cans, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to do an ash can extravaganza episode. And the first thing we're going to talk about is Reaper Destroyer. Now, if you've been watching the channel, then you know that Joe was on the channel not too long ago. He did an interview about the background, the details, the history of this book. It's been coming for a long time. He's refined the idea. He's perfected it. He's worked on it. This was an ash can that was produced for the original Indiegogo campaign. Unfortunately, this ash can edition is sold out, but the Indiegogo campaign for the full issue is available there will be a link to it in the description below so have no fear you're not looking at anything that you can't get your hands on now uh the first thing that i want to note is superior press reaper destroyer is not just like self-published joe has plans for a universe and i'm really excited to see where he goes and what he does as far as this actual preview this ash can goes it is absolutely gorgeous i wish we got more ash cans that were like this this is actually just the line art now that's usually really cool i love line art i'm a big artist edition guy i just think it's a look into the process and the creator and i think it's amazing whenever i get a chance to see it and i love the fact that he did it for this especially because one of the big things that sets Reaper Destroyer apart from a billion different people who are just trying to kind of imitate and ride on that 90s image nostalgia factor is the fact that Joe has ponied up and actually gotten image anchors and not like you flash in the pan. Matt Banning is doing the inking on this. So when you get to see Banning's inks, it's always a pleasure. Joe is really, really interesting as an artist. I can see him experimenting. There's so much love to the 90s uh, layouts, the panels. There's a lot of Greg Capullo going on right now. There's a ton of early, early McFarlane. Um, it's, it's really fun. It's fun. It's only an eight page preview, but again, getting to look at Banning's inks over Joe's very, very competent pencils, um, is really a pleasure. I also actually really like the spot coloring in this. I wish that the lettering was done by hand and then spot colored. You can kind of tell it was put in digitally, but this book is great. It's, it's readable as an ash can and legible. And that is very telling as to whether a book is going to be far too busy and completely unintelligible once it gets to the coloring stage. If you look at something in black and white, especially something that is this line heavy and intense and busy on the page, it is a good sign. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Joe is going to do with Reaper Destroyer. Uh, the thing also that I enjoyed about this is Joe just did not do an eight page preview and then maybe throw in some sketches in the back. No, he threw in some great pinups. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that is a phenomenal piece right there. But what's really cool is he gives you some of the sketches, character designs that, you know, people want to see. I want to see that. I love seeing process, but we get to look at, along with that, we also get a very in-depth look at the characters, um, who they are, their powers, the world, you know, what's going to be happening, motivations. 
This is showing that Joe is not just jumping into this willy-nilly. He's got a plan. He's going to go forward. He wants to do something with this. It is interesting. I really enjoy it. As you can see, this is not a short write-up. It is really cool. I very much enjoy seeing stuff like this in books. If you are producing your own ash cans and you're only doing 8, 12, you know, even upwards of 18 pages, do a couple of pages of just talking about the book. Make yourself a person. Put it out there. Get people invested. Once people know you, they're invested in your work. Once they're invested in your work, they want to see you succeed. I know I do. Um, another great pinup in the back. Really well put together. I was very impressed with uh, the nice card stock that he chose to go with on this. I'm usually not a big sucker for uh, holograms or uh, foil or anything like that. This is really actually well done. Uh, there's kind of been a return to that kind of stuff. You know, the gimmicks in the 90s as, as we've gotten older and a lot of people get nostalgic for it. But it's usually just done extremely poorly and with little forethought. The coloring on the, uh, just using the red as being on a separate plane and then the gold set all the way back actually helps give this depth. It looks really interesting because this is the original line art right here. And then you've got this and you can tell this is very competently done. This, it's only eight pages. It's not an extreme amount, but I was excited about this book. I wanted to see it succeed. Joe's got his stuff together too. Very smart, very um, competent guy. He's been around. He's done ash cans and previews before. He is serious this time around and it really shows in the product. Uh, I can't thank you enough again for sending this in, Joe. I am really looking forward to when the Indiegogo campaign wraps up, he gets the book done. I am stoked to read the first issue of Reaper Destroyer. If you want to check out the interview I did with Joe, I'll also make sure that I stick a link to that in the description below. But if you want to do, uh, just pick up a copy of this, there are some really cool variant covers, and obviously there's a really nice Joe Sontag cover as well, so I will make sure to have a link to that in the description below. Now, as I said, this is an Ashcan extravaganza. We've got more than one Ashcan, so what other Ashcan could I have but the new Victor Alpi Ashcan? Oh man, I was so excited. Um, now if you watched the Hugh Marks episode about Victor Alpi, then you know that Victor really set a extremely high bar for himself. He basically did the Hugh Marks books in a few weeks. He got, he, he, he penciled, inked, wrote, it was incredible. And those books turned out phenomenal. Well, he set himself another goal for a book that is called Magic Revolver. It's his first uh, work with another creator, Julio Fernandez. I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, Julio is the writer and Victor is handling the art. Unfortunately for Victor, he didn't exactly meet his goal. So he did complete a proof of concept ash cam, which is what this was meant to be. Unfortunately, he didn't get time to letter it. Now, I say unfortunate for Victor because for us, this is an unbelievable treat. This just means that Victor Alpi gave us an artist's edition. We get an artist's edition of this book out the gate. It is a true ash can preview. You get to take in his inks. His use of screen tone in this is really improving. Uh, I saw him do a little bit of one of these pages, I will point out later, live on one of our streams that we did together. And if you are interested, Victor has also said he is going to be joining me for another live Instagram stream interview chat uh, 15 minutes after this video is done if you are watching the live premiere. So make sure you swing by the Instagram channel if you want to check that out and ask Victor questions or learn more about his process. 
Um, Victor is getting more into being a serious artist. Comics are what he is going to do. You can tell by looking at this book, this guy is pushing himself on a daily basis. I cannot wait to see where he goes from here. It is, it, it, this book is phenomenal. The line work in this, even comparatively to some of the uh, Humark stuff, is drastically different. Super interesting. I love his use of uh, negative coloring for the wings. I mean, it's it's stellar. It's just stellar stuff. His storytelling, as always, on point. This is the page that he did. He was working on on our live stream. So if you want to see him working on this page live, uh, you can get on my Instagram channel and you should be able to check that out. If it's been taken down from my Instagram channel, they've been doing that. I am archiving them on my Patreon page. You will always have access to them. I download them and I upload them to a separate server on my Patreon page. So if you, if you want unfettered access to everything, make sure you sign up for the Patreon page. And speaking of Patreon page, as I said, Victor is making his uh, really big push into becoming a actual artist. Uh, he has got a Patreon page that is always dropping really cool stuff. You get process shots of all of his stuff. I personally, I'm signed up. This book is really, really fun to look at. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed looking at the process shots of this. Um, I can't wait until we get the lettered version of this so that I can read the story, but man, is this a treat to look at. Uh, also, I was speaking with Victor not too long ago, and he is opening up his commissions for the very first time. I am on the list. Uh, so if you are interested in getting a piece by Victor Alpi, I cannot uh, stress enough it's probably a good time to get in because um, I, I've been into a few other guys that have really blown up and uh, I've kicked myself for not getting a piece for them. Matthew Allison, um, I, I just didn't have the money. Victor Alvey, I have been setting aside $10, $15 for like four years for when he opened commissions, okay? Uh, it's going to be some radical stuff. If you want to see a preview of the kind of stuff he's working on on commissions, swing by his Instagram chan uh, page. He has got a picture of a storm commission that he did that will absolutely blow your mind. And if you want a taste of what Victor Alpi is capable of, behold this spread. I mean, holy This stuff is phenomenal, and he knows how to use splashes. I love it, man, because he's not wasting space. He's telling story. Everything is so confidently broken down in this. Um, and, and it's so unique. It's uniquely Victor Alpi. He's developing a style and a personality, and I cannot wait to see where this goes. If you're interested in picking up a magic revolver ash can make sure you tune into the live stream i will not only have details on how you can get magic revolver ash cans which um i happen to have to give away that are remarked we got female character and then we have got the titular gun wielding character and although I must admit, this one is spoken to. It is going to Bob, the archivist, AKA Shelves of Glory. That's right, Shelves of Glory. You get this wicked, insane demon inscribed insanity by Victor Alpi. So if you want to check out more of Victor's stuff, make sure that you check out his Instagram page. I will have links to that in the description below. If you want to check out his Patreon page, you can swing by there. I will have a link to that as well. Um, if you want to pick up copies of Magic Revolver, he is also restocked on Humarks. And I have been in talks with 
Mr. Alpi, and I am hoping for a package sometime soon. So I will have a couple of Humarx ash cans and a couple more Magic Revolver ash cans that I will be giving away through the channel. Um, if you want to make sure that you secure a copy, check out his page, get in touch with Victor, make sure you pick up a copy now. You do not want to miss this book. It is absolutely insane to look at. Also, again, links to Reaper Destroyer down in the description below as well. Cannot wait to see this book kick off. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you all are enjoying this Indie Spotlight series. If you did enjoy what you saw, make sure you hit that like button. Think about getting in the comment section below and letting me know if you really enjoyed what you saw. Make sure you Hulk smash that subscribe button. If you do that, make sure you ding the little notification bell so you never miss another video or premiere again. If you feel like you're in a position to help the channel grow, think about using the link in the description below to sign up for my Patreon page. For as little as $3 a month, you get access to tons of behind the scenes posts, updates, exclusive content, like like uncut interviews, and you can even get your name in the credits. If you want to support the channel, the Patreon is not your thing. Have no fear. You can finally sign up for membership right here on YouTube. Just hit the little join button and make sure to select the tier and the perks that fit you best. If that's not enough, you can also make one-time donations towards specific goals or just tip the channel using the Ko-Fi link in the description below. And you can even pick up your very own Jerk Comics shirts like the ones you see on the screen now. As always, this video was brought to you by the Jerk Broadcasting Service, as well as generous grants from the Patreon, Ko-Fi, and YouTube members you see on the screen now. I seriously want to thank every single one of you that supports the channel and helps make these videos possible with a super special thanks to my loyal Wednesday Warriors, Channel 10, Chasen, Clinton, Salvini, and Mike Dolan. I really hope the quality and content is getting better, and I can't wait to see where this next year takes us with your continued support. Thank you again for helping this crazy dream of mine become a reality and for sticking with me. I hope you all enjoyed, maybe even learned something, and as always, I really, truly, and honestly ask only two things. Keep it in those local shops, and keep reading comics. <laughs>